Hi everyone, in this tutorial we are covering how to make a perfect selection in Photoshop. Here are three steps to make a perfect selection. Using color range selection, then refining the edges, and working with the final result. Before we get started, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. Step 1. Color Range Selection To get started, select the image you want to work with. Open it in Photoshop, select the layer, right click it, and duplicate to make a copy. In this tutorial, the part of the image I will be selecting is the tree. Now go to Select and Color Range. Now that the Color Range window is open, you can select a color from your image using the eyedropper. So select a part of the sky behind the tree. As you can see in the preview, the sky has been selected. And we have to perfect this selection by including the parts of the sky that weren't included. To do this, increase the fuzziness. Move the cursor to find a satisfying value. When you are done, press OK. Now that we have selected the sky, we have to invert the selection because what we really want to select is the tree. So go to Select, Invert. The quick selection tool and uh, select the subtract from selection option and subtract the field part from the selection so all we have left is the tree and the trunk. Step 2. Refine edges. Now that we've selected the tree we need to refine the edges. So go to Select and Mask. Select the Zoom tool and zoom into your image. You can surely see that there are leaves and little details that need refined. Select and Mask is a powerful tool. It is able to improve considerably our selection. In the Properties panel, go to the View drop-down menu and select Overlay. This will create a quick mask with our selection. To add details to our selection, it's necessary to increase the Contrast percentage and the Shift Edge percentage. Increase their values slowly in order to directly see the details that are being added. Based on the colors of our image, it might be useful to edit the selection with a black mask. That way we can notice if there are still some pixels out of place, included or excluded in our selection. Go back to the view mode section and in the view drop down menu, select on black. Go over the adjustments that we had previously applied. If necessary, modify them. If you like, you can also increase the smooth value in order to soften the selection edge. When you are satisfied, press OK to exit the Select and Mask screen. Step 3. Final Result We've finished our selection. To admire the final result, add a layer mask to the tree layer with our selection and turn off the visibility of the layer below, of the background layer. This way, we can see the results of our selection on a transparent background. At this point, we can use our new selection that we've made to add it onto a new image. I'm going to apply the layer mask to the tree selection, and then 
then drag it onto the new image I just opened. I'm resizing and positioning the tree on the background image. Then I'm going to add a new adjustment layer to adjust the contrast and the brightness. So it blends into the image. So since there's a lake in the background image, I'm going to make a reflection of the tree in the lake. So I'm going to duplicate the tree layer, and then I'm going to flip it vertically. And then I'm going to change the blending mode, reduce the opacity, and maybe blur it a little bit. That's it. These were three steps to create a perfect selection in Photoshop. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.